Hey, what's up guys? It's Cliff from Trail Grid Pro. Today, Brian and I are gonna throw in the Morimoto XB LED headlights in this 2020 Forerunner TRD Pro. So why are we doing the Morimoto XB LED lighting upgrade in this Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro? Well, we think the lighting upgrade speaks for itself. All right, guys, we're bringing this install video today live from Frederick Auto Detailing here in the heart of Frederick, Maryland, owned by Brian Rathbon, who takes a super consultative approach to auto detailing. If you're looking for a premier hand washing all the way up to, let's say, a full interior exterior detail, including an IGL coatings, ceramic coating, Frederick Auto Detailing is the place to go. Again, they take a full consultative approach We'll walk you through everything. And this can also include a full comprehensive plan for maintaining and protecting your vehicle for years to come. All right, Brian, you ready to get rolling? Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, first step, we gotta pop the hood. All right, first thing we gotta do, we gotta get this uh, trim panel off. So what we're gonna do, simply just gonna push all of these down. We're gonna use our uh, little panel removal tool here, pop clip. We're just gonna lift them up. We got four along the grill. One, two, three, four, five along the back, and then we got four more up top here. And that lifts right off. All right, so we got our uh, screw gun here with the trusty 10 millimeter socket. You got three bolts here on the uh, inner side of the fender here. We're gonna take off. Just so we're clear, you don't have to have one of these tools to do this job. You can use a regular socket and ratchet. 
Same thing on this side, one, two, three. All right, so now that we have these three screws out right here, you see we have these retainer tabs that hold the inner fender liner onto the fender. We'll take our panel removal tool, slowly work those off. There we go. We'll just pull this down out of the way. And one last thing we have to do, this top hole right here, I need to pull it out a little bit and clear it off of right there. We're gonna go around to the other side and repeat the same process. All right, so uh, we've got our 10 mil socket back out. Now we're going to go directly under the front bumper and there's six bolts that we need to remove there to loosen the bottom of the bumper. All right, so we have two here, there's two in the middle, and then there's two on the other side. We're going to go ahead and take these off. Now we're on the, uh, the top side again, right here by the hood release latch. We're gonna remove one bolt here. There's two bolts down here. And then we will also need to, when we come around this side, disconnect this wire here uh, that runs to the front collision avoidance system. So we got those three off. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this wire right here. Tabs on the back side. We're gonna give it a little squeeze and a pull. There we go. All right, so we got that wire unplugged. Next thing we're gonna do, we have a pop clip here. There's one on the other side. And then if you look, there's four on the inside that attach to the cross member here. So we're gonna take our tool, pop the plunger out, and pull these. And then we're gonna do the same thing with these on the inside. All right, so there's nothing uh, holding our bumper on anymore, uh, except for there's a few pop clips in here. So all we're gonna do is pull from the side. Looks violent, but just keep gentle pressure and the bumper will let go. All right, just got the other side off. So what we got to do now, we're going to reach up in here and unplug the fog lights. There's one on each side, clearly. All right, so now we got our bumper cover off. Uh, that gives us access to the bolts that we need to get the actual headlight assembly off. So, got one here on the inside. There's one here on the top. There's a hidden one if you pull this trim bit back. We have one up here. And then we also need to take this one right here out. So again, 10 millimeter socket. Lift up on this top tab. One 
crimp it and then we'll just pull straight out. At this point we can disconnect all of our plugs on the back side. I'll give these a gentle wiggle. I don't want to damage the plugs because we do need them for the new harness. All right, so we have our headlight completely removed from the vehicle now. Uh, last thing we need to do, we need to get a Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to remove these three screws. We're going to transfer this plastic piece to the new headlight. So we're going to take it over to the bench and do that. All right, so we've moved the headlight over to the bench. We have the factory headlight that we just took off the truck. We have the new Morimoto XB LED headlight that's going to be going back on the truck. So like I said, we need to remove these three Phillips head screws and move the uh, plastic piece over to the new headlight. Three Phillips heads. So we're gonna, now that we have this piece off, we're just gonna move it straight over. And just put one end finger tight so that we hold it up there until we get everything lined up. All right, so now we got all three of them started, go ahead and tighten them down. If you notice some dirt on these headlights, uh, we actually did have these already installed on the truck, uh, but we enjoyed them so much and we think that they look so awesome that we decided to take them off and reinstall them for you guys. All right, so here's the new headlight. We have this piece moved over. Uh, we're gonna repeat the same process for the other headlight. Uh, so now that we have this back together, let's move back to the truck and get this one put on. All right, so we got the headlight back at the truck. Um, now this is just a matter of matching up plugs to uh, the plugs that we have here. These are all keyed plugs so that they will only match up to one other plug. Alright, so now that we have all of our plugs hooked up, from the new headlight to the truck. Uh, we do have one more option. If you want a standard blink on the C light, if you want this whole C light to flash for your turn signal, we're gonna leave this connection right here connected. If you want it to be a sequential turn signal, meaning the turn signal is gonna start here and go around the C light, which that's what we're gonna do today. We're, all you gotta do is disconnect this plug okay so we have the uh, the headlight seated in there now all right so we're gonna go ahead and replace our bolts holding the headlight in these all have to be super tight Place our trim. All right. And then we got our one more on the outside here. All right. Headlights back in. We'll move to the other side.
we've got the other headlight done, let's go ahead and put this on the truck. So we got the uh, front bumper cover back in front of the truck. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to uh, hook the fog lights back up before we go any further. All right, you get on that side. Yep. All right. At this point, we bring the bumper up. And we can hang it right where it needs to go. So go ahead. And give a little push right here on the front. We get those pop clips back in. All right, so we're back here in the fender area. We got the bumper hung back up here. So what we need to do is replace our clips here. So we're gonna work these behind. And then where we pulled this off earlier, we're gonna work that over. And work these up just like that. Then we can replace our three bolts. All right, now that we got these three bolts back in, we're gonna go over and repeat the same process on the other side. install this harness this controls the daytime running lamps or the DRLs on your Morimoto uh, XB LED headlights real easy all we're gonna do is pop off this uh, fuse cover here so what we're gonna do we've selected there's a uh, blank fuse location right here so we're gonna go right here between this 7.5 and this 10 uh, with our add a fuse we're gonna go ahead and stick a little fuse in there And then we're going to push this into place. Uh, easiest thing to do, just keep this wire tucked up out of the way. Went ahead and made one small adjustment to the cover. We, uh, off camera, we cut this little notch in here so that the wire from our Adafuse uh, can be kept up in here and we don't have to worry about water or uh, anything else getting in this fuse panel. There we go. Put the fuse cover back on. Now all we got to do is run our wire. What I like to do, uh, what we'd like to do here is we're going to run this behind the bracket, keeping everything as tight as we can to the fender. This will keep all the wires nice and hidden, give you a clean install look when we're all done. Uh, we're just going to work these through. So you have a short plug and a long plug. The short plug is going to go to our driver side headlight. The long plug, we're going to run all the way over to the passenger side. So come in tight here. Uh, on the back of our headlights, we had one plug that we hadn't used uh, in the previous section. That's going to be for our daytime running light. All you got to do, 
push them until you hear it click. We push this down out of the way. We're going to keep running our other plug. We're going to come behind the headlight. Come across the grill. I'm going to go under the hood latch. Again, come all the way across and go behind the other headlight. Pop out right here, and here's our other plug. There we go. Tuck all this back out of the way. Uh, the only thing we have left here is we're just going to clean up the wire a little bit. Uh, we'll just use some zip ties to hold it up out of the way. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're back up here on the top side. We're going to go ahead and reconnect this plug that we undid earlier. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and replace the four pop clips that held in the bumper on the cross member. Just slide those in and push them down. All right. And then next step, we're gonna go ahead and replace the two bolts down here and then the one up here by the hood latch. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and replace this one up top. And then we're gonna put these two in down here. I'm gonna go ahead and start them on their finger. And then we'll tighten them down. We're going to go ahead and replace the two pop clips up top. Same as four, push them in, push them down. All right, so now we put in the two pop clips up top. Uh, we're, all, we're pretty much done up top, but we still have the bottom of the bumper to do. So let's go under the truck and put those six bolts back in. All right, so the one with the big flat washer on it is going to go right here. small one here you may have to line these there's a clip up in here get that clip back out all right let's move to the middle all right so the two ones with the fixed black washer are gonna go here in the middle So the last thing we need to do, we just need to adjust the fender liner here. Put this clip line back up. And tuck this in. And when we have two more silver with the washers on them. All right, that's it. Let's head back up top. All right, last step, we're gonna put the cover piece back on here slide it into place grab our top clips uh, one thing we like to do is just use some sort of little organizer like this just keeps all of our uh, pop clips and our bolts and stuff organized while we're disassembling and reassembling all right with these you may have to push the pin out a little bit to get them to go in nicely then you just push it down
got our cover piece back on, the headlights are in, the front bumper is back on. There's only one thing left to do. Enjoy your new Morimoto XB LED headlights with sequential turn signals. We will have the Morimoto supplied written instructions listed on the website product page, which you can use for your installation reference as well. And it's about a seven page reference guide and it does a pretty good job with photos walking through what we did in a video format and then the probably most important feature of this is the last page which you'll want to reference uh, which gives you the aiming standards for adjusting your lights and that is definitely something that you'll want to do before you hit the road all right guys we've got everything in they look fantastic hope you enjoyed today's video uh, if you have any questions please leave a comment below we'd be happy to uh, answer any questions that you have. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. We'd love for you to follow along on this journey. And uh, we're everywhere, online, www.trailgridpro.com, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Have a blast out there.